you join me for another episode of Craig vs Games. Uh, today's game is another repeat from last year. However, this year we're going to play it a slight bit differently. Uh, and I thought we'd go with something seasonal because nothing says early March to me more than running around a 1950s American city being chased by monsters. So let's play Horrified and see if we can pick up our first victory of the 2021 series. Hello and welcome to Horrified. Uh, like I say, last year we played this game, uh, but this year we're going to do it a bit differently in that we're going to play it like it's a full-on cooperative game, because it is a full-on cooperative game. What I mean by that is last year we controlled one character, uh, which is a, an option, a variant, uh, but this year we're going to control three characters. Uh, and the only difference really is that obviously each of those characters is going to take turns in order, and also the starting terror level is at zero, as opposed to part way up the track. Uh, in this year's version of this game, we're going to go against Frankenstein and the Bride, who will carry over from last year. But then two new monsters, we're going to go against the creature from the Black Lagoon, here, stood in the lagoon, and the Wolfman, here, stood in the mansion. And I'll explain how they work as we play through the game. Uh, we're all set up, so it's ready to rock and roll. I'm going to control the Explorer first. Uh, they only get three actions, but... They also have the ability to just teleport around the board, which is why they only get three actions. But as a start, what they might do is pick up those items at the camp and start working on the creature from the Black Lagoon. I mean, that seems like a sensible thing, doesn't it? Pick up that for one. Then I can spend both of those. Two, three, to move this boat. So the way the creature works is you have to find his lair and you have to be at the camp and send, spend an item and that uh, spending that item allows you to move to the next cross of that colour so for spending two yellows I can go to the next yellow cross and then after that the next yellow cross and I'm trying to get to here so I've got to go all the way around there um, and that would be the end of the explorer's turn simple, let's do it, let's move on okay first event card is actually a wolfman card so that's going to take effect First thing we do, we're going to draw two items from the item bag, which I'm going to keep over here. Laboratory and Institute. This says the hunt is on. If no hero has the hunted emblem, nobody does, then give it to the current player. So the explorer is hunted. And move the wolfman three spaces towards the hero with the hunted emblem. So the wolfman goes, I am after you. Then activations. It's... Uh, the creature, who I'm going to move here, just for fairness. I could have moved it there, but that seems a little bit harsh. Uh, Dracula, and then the frenzy monster is Frankenstein. So Frankenstein's going to go one space. That is the end of that. My next character is the courier, and the courier can, uh, their special ability is that they can move to any other space on the board as long as there's another hero there. So he can just for one move go boop or boop. But what he might do, well I mean the explorer's in a bit of trouble from Wolfman potentially. Do I want to worry about it if I about pick these up? One, two, go over there with all of them and just defend. Let's do it. So one action, two actions, Third action is to use his special ability to go over here. One more action. Uh, we'll spend the blue item just to move the boat along. Then the next card is three items going on the board. Uh, and to the mansion and the docks and then Dr. Cranley comes to the laboratory here he is and he wants to go to the precinct which is all over there then the invisible man but there is, there is no invisible man and then the frenzied monster moves one so that's Frankenstein and he goes there and then we move to the archaeologist so the archaeologist special ability is that when he picks up items he can pick up items 
from an adjacent space. So for one action, I can pick up this item in the tower without having to go to the tower. Um, what should his plan of attack be? So I can't really go very far at the minute. He could get a blue item and give it to Franken the Briar Frankenstein, but that might be a little bit premature. What you might be able to do is pick up one of these and then go one, two, three to maybe protect Dr. Cranley. Um, I'm also going to play his uh, perk card, which is each player draws one item and places it. So I'm just going to draw three items. So I've got the barn, I've got the tower, and I've got the shop. So yeah, I think I'm going to go one, two, pick these up for three, and I'm going to stand here for four. Then we get another three items out on the board. In uh, the church and at the museum. Sorry if I can sign. Uh, and Dr. Reed goes to the institute, so the doctors are on the board, and he wants to go to the camp. And the creature from the black room activates, moving on one. So he is going to go here. He's attacking with two dice, so I'm going to say he's attacking the courier. He didn't roll any hits, but he did roll an exclamation. And for the creature, the exclamation means move the boat one spot backwards. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, and then the frenzied monster moves one. So that is Frankenstein, and he is definitely closest to, the, to these guys over here. Okay, so now it's the explorer's turn with zero items. But the special ability of the explorer is that she can go anywhere on the board. Where would be most useful? I mean, there's items here, red and yellow items. They'd be quite good here, so she could go one. Uh, and two. To pick them all up. She might want to not go to where the thing is because she might want to go back there because those monsters might get her so for her third action how about she how about she Teleports across the board again to get more stuff. That's a good idea. Two items. The two items being at the tower and also at the precinct. The event is a Frankenstein event. Move the bride two spaces towards Frankenstein. And then the creature from the Black Magoon is going to move two and roll one dice. So again, attacking the courier. Didn't roll a hit. Uh, the Wolfman is going to roll one dice. Did roll a hit. So the courier will discard an item that they control. And the Invisible Man is not in this game. So now the courier <coughs> they could spend this blue item to move this boat, but it only moves it one space. It seems a bit of a waste. So instead, instead, Could go one to go to where the explorer is, two to pick these up, and then uh, the explorer is going to play her per card, which says move here up to four spaces to move the courier one, two, three, four. And the courier, for his third action, is going to spend two yellow to dial Frankenstein two spaces and also moving away two spaces. 
and then for fourth action, I'm going to come in and pick up this rare item. And then we've got an event, uh, which is zero items. It's a mummy event, so that doesn't happen. Uh, the Wolfman runs one space. Dracula will move one, and the Invisible Man will move one. That's no good to anybody. So now, the Archaeologist hasn't got any yellow, blue items, sorry, for the Bride. But could get some blue items from here. The Courier's here to deal with these guys. Red items are only really good for the creature. So let's do it. So let's go one, pick these up for two. Spend the blue two to dial the bride up by two and also move her away. Two spaces. And then for a fourth action, Uh, he's going to blues and reds. He's going to go to where the bride is to deal with her. Okay, uh, two items. So Dracula rents, so that doesn't happen. Theatre and the Abbey. Uh, Mummy, no. Bride of Frankenstein was one. She's going to roll two dice. One hit, so the archive just gets rid of that. And the invisible man, not in this game. So now we've got the explorer with three actions. So she's going to go one. Spend the red item to move the boat to the next red space. Spend the yellow item to move the boat to the next yellow space. That's three, but then the crew is going to play its perk card, which says move each hero up to two spaces. So the explorer is going to go one, two. The archaeologist is going to go one, and the crew is going to go one, two. Uh, the event is another Dracula on, so that doesn't happen. Two items, which is at the laboratory and also at the graveyard. Uh, the mummy, no. Invisible man, no. Creature, one movement. So now we've got the courier's actions. And the courier for their actions. Could go all the way up there, but have they got any stuff that's useful? We need a blue item and then one other item to kind of finish off the, the creature. One, two, three, wouldn't be able to actually do it on this turn, so that might be less useful. So how about we just pick these up, one, move here, two, and then pick this up for three and for the fourth action we'll start on the wolfman so the way the wolfman works is he needs six blue items to be delivered to the laboratory two that are strength one two that are strength two and two that are strength three so the courier is going to deliver a strength two to the laboratory that's the end of the turn I'll just tidy this up okay uh, zero items place the creature at the waterfront that's fairly handy i think then the wolfman is going to move one space and roll three dice. That's painful. So that is one hit and an exclamation mark. And the exclamation mark for the wolfman is every person in the wolfman space assists. That's two hits against the explorer. The explorer's only got one item, so the explorer is going to take that hit. Uh, then a bride moves one space and is going to roll three. That is two hits, and also 
Moving by one space towards Frankenstein. Two hits. I'll discard these two items from the archaeologist because it's their turn next. And then Frankenstein with one space. That was painful. Okay, so archaeologist turn. Can pick this up for one. Move here for two. Third action to spend one blue to move Frank to the bride away one step and then it's got another action left which I think will be not spent because he could move here but Frankenstein's a frenzied monster and he might move is more likely to move. So let's go on to the monster phase, which is two items from the bag. The event has moved the bag two spaces towards Frankenstein. It's not particularly good. Two items from the bag. I've got the theatre and I have the inn. Uh, the creature's going to move two spaces. It only needs to move one to get here. Then it's going to roll a dice against the archaeologist doesn't hit. The wolf one's going to have two spaces, one, two, to get to where the archaeologist is. Does roll a hit, just one, so I'm going to get rid of that. The archaeologist is surrounded, so the explorer, with not a great deal of items, but can just go anywhere on the board if that would be any use. So how about this? Oh no, that's not quite right. Because she's only got three actions. I was thinking, pick up these yellow items and, and move Frankenstein away, but one, two to pick up, three to move there. She wouldn't actually get the opportunity to move him away. Um, can't get blue items similarly so should we not worry about them just accept that as a potential potential negative and we've only moved up one step on that so let's not worry about it shall we let's go one two do with the yellow item as well. Well let's take that back then. Oh no, let's not worry about it. Let's just go over here for the third action. I'll do. Zero items, place the creature at the lagoon. Then uh, the wolf man that moves one space and rolls three dice. I think yeah, the archaeologist is going to take a big whack. Yes, three hits, zero items, gone. Uh, the bride one space actually moves here because that's where the big things are to attack and then it's going to roll three dice obviously I'm going to say the courier defended it so that is douche two hits I rolled an exclamation mark that's why the bride moved two hits we'll take a red and a yellow from the courier and then the frenzy monster, which is Frankenstein, so he moves one space. Oh, he meets the bride, which means this tick goes up, he goes back to the graveyard, and she goes back to the dungeon. Okay, okay. So now it's the courier's turn. And the courier can spend two actions to deliver these two blue items for the wolf's man. Wolfman's Cure, then the other two actions to start getting these guys out of harm's way and where they want to go to, although they're a little bit in the middle of it all there, we'll see. Zero items again, place the creature at the river, and then it's the Wolfman at one space, then it's Bride one space, and then it's the Frenzied Monster at one space. 
and they're all in a little bit of trouble here. What can the archaeologist do? He can go one, pick it up, spend the four yellow to dial yellow Frankenstein man by four. One, two, three, four. And also move four spaces. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, that's fine. No, it's not. I'm going to move here instead. Then, one more action. He uses the ability to pick up these other items here. Okay. Three items are coming on the board. And those three items are the church at the docks and at the docks. Uh, Wilbur and Chick are coming on at the shop. It's a bad time, Wilbur and Chick. What are you doing that for? Then Frankenstein moves one space, attacks with three dice. Two hits. I'm actually going to take that because Frankenstein's going to go again, so I'm just going to take. Then the bride moves one space and Frankenstein moves one space. Now it's the archaeologist's turn. She appears back here. She's going to go to the camp for one. So you can spend a red item and then a blue item. That allows us to move red item and blue item. So we've found the creature's lair. We now just need to go to the creature space and have an item of each colour. But that was three actions, I believe, for the explorer. It was one to teleport there and then two to spend them. Okay, so that's the end of their turn. There's zero items. It's a mummy event, so that doesn't happen. Uh, the dice rolls as the wolf man is going to roll twice against Wilbur and Chick. Well, I've got no defenses. Wilbur and Chick are dead. Sorry, Wilbur and Chick. We're up to five terror. Only two steps left. Uh, Dracula and then the Invisible Man. There's, there's nothing there. So now it is the courier's turn. And they can deliver. So they shall. So let's go one, two. I'm going to send Dr. Reed to the camp, which is where he wants to go. For that. Courier gets a perk card, and the perk card is move monsters away. Uh, which do they want to do that? I think it's okay for now. <clears throat> so that was three actions. For the fourth action, I think it's going to stand here. Well, then the event is two items. Which they are at the barn and at the mansion. Uh, the hunters are so a hunted explorer, the wolfman moves three spaces towards them. One, two, three. And the creature moves one space here. Dracula and the frenzied monster moves a space. So oh look, they're all hanging out. They're having a monster party. Only the bride isn't there. <clears throat> that was the courier. So now it's the archaeologist who wants to pick up a yellow and a blue item. We might be able to get rid of the creature, but I don't think that's possible right now. One, two, pick up that three. Could dial some more up on Frankenstein, but then he'd been stood directly in the flight of the creature and the wolfman, so that seems not very sensible. But yellow items are good for Frankenstein, so he's going to go one, two, three, and four, using his ability to pick up adjacent ones. Three items are coming out. The 
in uh, the shop and the laboratory. Elizabeth is coming on at the mansion. She wants to go to the tower. And uh, Frankenstein is going to move one space. The question is, which direction do I want to send Frankenstein? He's going to roll two dice. He's going to roll two dice twice. I'm going to send him to the explorer. So one hit. The explorer is going to get rid of that. Uh, the bride is going to move one space, and he's also going to roll two dice. I'm going to send this to the courier. No hits, but I did. The bride does move, and then again the frenzy monster, which monster, which is Frankenstein. So already in the space, he's just going to roll two dice against the explorer, and if it hits the explorer, we're one step away from losing the game. Yep, it, Frankenstein did hit the explorer, so the explorer's gone. Well, one step away from losing. Oh dear, we need to do something quickly. So, what we should do is the explorer's turn. They should with no items, teleport to the precinct for one, bring Dr. Cranley to the precinct for two. That's where Dr. Cranley wants to go. The explorer gets a perk, which is to move some monsters. Um, for a third action, the explorer is going to go here, but also going to play this card move any monster up to three spaces I'll move uh, the creature one two and also the curry is going to do the same move any monster three spaces and is going to move from the wolfman one two although oh yeah it's probably better to move the bride one two because your man's got some items that'll mean that he can take that hit if it happens. Okay. Uh, two items and the wolfman moves three spaces towards the hunted. So one, two, three. Two items that come out are at the precinct and at the church. Uh, the creature's going to move one space, which is going to be three to get to any of them, so I'll run there. Dracula, no. The frenzied monster's going to move one space, which is Frankenstein goes there. So now it's the courier's turn. And the courier needs to be wary of the wolfman being one space away from the explorer so is the option to trans to teleport here and pick all these items up what else can they do on their turn pick up lots of items one two three four And now they're uh, safe in numbers, hopefully. Uh, the only problem is now, by doing that, is that Elizabeth is um, Elizabeth is now a concern. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to risk it. One time risk. Oh, I don't think it's worked. <laughs> two items. One, two. The tower. And the tower. Then, mummy. No, creature's going to move one space. That's fine. Uh, and Frankenstein's going to move one space and roll three dice. Okay. That's not good. 
Because now, if we roll any hits, it's game over. Oh, one hit. Elizabeth is felled by Frankenstein and that is the end of the game. Yet another astounding loss for the hero. Oh dear.